This is the future. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Now if you're one of those guys who love curry, love chutneys, love any kind of fruity salads, then this salad is for you because it combines the best of all three. I will leave the ingredients to the salad in the description below. So head on down and check it out. Now I did make some alterations to it because I am not a fan of anything spicy and the only things I could get was like hot 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 curry and uh, pepper Tabasco so I actually made the curry content less for me but if you love curry then you can put in the right amount of the hot stuff and if you're a guy who likes the mild stuff then you can put the right amount of mild in it as well but since I only had hot stuff I actually changed it a bit and I will tell you the changes as we go along but the way I made it it tastes perfectly you have enough curry to tingle your taste buds so that you know there's something in there for me and you've got this nice thick fruity delicious salad that you can use with any kind of meat it goes perfectly with fish and if you like our South Africans and you love to braai then this is what you use so the South African name for this is unfortunately no way of giving this an English name as oh barley is a curry sly or just well I, I, I call it now the curry salad but anyway let me show you how it's done and then you can try it out for yourself enjoy and here we go your ingredients pineapple pieces one can one can of peach one bottle of sweet white cocktail onions one can of baked beans in tomato sauce a pinch of salt some fire tabasco sauce and raja curry and sugar some smooth apricot jam and some mezina or cornflour we are going to start off with the peaches you're going to open up the can and drain out the juice inside but don't throw it away keep it one side because we're going to use it then take a knife and cut the peaches in small bite-sized pieces now depending on the amount of salad you want to make you can use a big can or a small can or buy a big and a small can and then just use the juice from the big and small can together uh, but like I said, it depends on how much salad you want to make at the end of the day. I used one small can and then realized that the juice inside was just a little bit not enough. So in future, when I'm going to make it, I'm going to use a big can and a small can. Or just a big can. It depends on you. This is all up to your preference and how much you want to make. The next step will be to drain the water from the pineapple can as well as the onions. You're not going to use the juice on either so you can get rid of the juice. This is a very old and very big pot. It used to belong to my mother. Uh, for you, use the correct size of pot for the amount that you want to make. We are going to start off now by adding the peach juice, the sugar, the apricot jam the pinch of salt 5 drops of Tabasco sauce and the curry powder all in one pot and then boil everything together for more or less 10 minutes but because my juice wasn't enough I only boiled it for 5 Once your 5 to 10 minutes of boiling is done, you're going to add the pineapple pieces, the peach pieces, as well as the onions, and the baked beans. Take the corn flour, mix it with a little bit of water and create a slurry, and then add that to the pot as well. Now 
Boil for another 5 minutes or until it's nice and thick. Once done, let it cool down and bottle it. And you can keep those bottles in the fridge for a very long time. Thanks for watching and please remember to look at the description to make sure you've got all your ingredients and the amounts in case I missed something. Till next time guys, cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.